why you should start lifting. chubby, some of you might be a little skinny, and some of you might just be like, you're perfectly fine, but like, you could, you want to kind of broaden like, your physique, you just kind of want to uh, gain some muscle, show something to people, or just show something for yourself. Um, I, I believe that lifting is one of the keys, best key. <laughs> It is a very good thing. You should um, It is Let me just I'm sorry. Um, so why it's important and why you should do it. Um, it's kind of a lot of what uh, Emily said about like running. Um, it strengthens your bones. It um, probably to a greater, a more greater extent, uh, like uh, maintains muscle mass. Um, it uh, boosts self confidence. And there was a uh, I, there was a if I could my computer stays awake. Um, there was a. A research study that uh, shown that uh, lifting uh, helped fight off depression, as you were kind of more focusing on lifting heavier stuff and like just yeah, taking out like your physical stress on that rather than just yourself mentally. So there's that. Um, like I said, build strength overall. Um, there was a research uh, study that was done uh, by a university that uh, they found that people that like over a 12 week like uh, experiment that they uh, their biceps increased by like 19 percent which is like obviously more than <laughs> the average person like yeah it's kind of wild and uh, yeah it's kind of wild it's awesome um, <laughs> um, it just, yeah, like I said, it works. Um, there is actually a uh, thing called a newbie gains. It's when a person goes through like their first year or so of like lifting, and they can gain massive amount of like muscle mass compared to people that lift like over the years more and more. That's like uh, kind of your prime time because your body's not used to doing that like all the time. So it's kind of like, well, shoot. I gotta get all this muscle mass, just kind of to uh, yeah deal with it. All this uh, sudden like uh, movement of like lifting heavy things. Um, yeah, it does that, and yeah. Um, one of the best ways that you can start, personally, um, there is calisthenics. So if you don't have a gym, this is a wonderful way to start. You could start by maybe doing uh, something called dips. Um, which that's why I kind of started doing first, like the first thing I kind of did. I did that on barbell curls, but uh, dips, they use up your body weight, but you're just kind of like, imagine you have like two spots uh, like for your hands to rest on, but you just go all the way down, and then you just kind of push yourself up, and yeah, um, it's great for like building your back, your chest, Shoulders, it's kind of a really good, like, all one package deal for your upper body. Um, there's also pull ups, which I cannot do uh, super well, I will tell you. Yeah, absolutely, I suck at that. I'm trying to get better um, because I can do like maybe five in a row. Um, but yeah, that's a good way to like develop your upper body too. Um, being a gym goer, yeah, that's so so perfect. That's a great way to start. That's uh, kind of what I did too. Um, I uh, I pushed myself by like lifting more heavier things, 
than I usually like do. I mean, um, there's always a risk of like uh, like messing up your muscles, but as long as you kind of pace yourself and like you kind of uh, know what you're doing, um, it can be pretty safe. Um, cardio and running um, is a great way, like Emily said also, to like uh, kind of a, it's a great combo of leg day. Um, yeah, it obviously warms up your legs. Um, it burns calories and helps build stamina, which uh, usually, yeah, the average person would have like great stamina. Um, yeah. Um, so, funny story, this is what I looked like two years ago. I was fat, I was, uh, my mom politely told me I was uh, husky. Um, I never really knew what that meant. Um, I tried, I really tried not to do sports. I, the, I tried to do baseball because I thought I could get away with just doing a little no movement in there. But I was in for like a reawakening. So I, I didn't do, I like left baseball really early, which I probably shouldn't have. But uh, anyway, my brother was doing track and uh, they kind of forced me to do it too. Um, I at first did not do like uh, running. I did something called shot put, where it's where you're lifting heavy, like a heavy ball, right? And you're just, you spin around and then you launch it. Um, I would say that was a great way for me to start out because it was something to do. Um, but after that, I just kind of felt the same way. Like I kind of started taking my mom's like a, like what she said to me, a little more to heart, and I'm like, there was cross country coming up, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. So, for like the next several months, I turned into this. I lost a bunch of weight, I fast, well, I started eating less, which probably wasn't a smart idea, but still. <clears throat> I lost about like, I went from like 240 pounds to 130 pounds. And I believe that running is a very important process in like losing weight and to like gain to like building muscle because I I don't know, it just was a very part role in like my story so far. Um, then I started in like February to start like trying to lift. I looked like that. Um, that was like one of my first pictures. Um, at this time, I was kind of like told by my friends that I was kind of like a super light. I could be blown in like a kite or something. And one of my friends went I'm like, oh yeah, I'm starting with things like, dude, you're nothing but bones. I'm like, ah, what? You really think that? <clears throat> so I was kind of disappointed about that, but I was determined to kind of prove them wrong, especially like my shot put people. Um, one, I kept getting mad because I wasn't like, the, I wasn't like, I was like the second to worst or something. <laughs> and uh, I, I would just always be disappointed and kind of like tear up that I wasn't like getting anywhere. And that I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't like super strong. I wish I was. And they're like, you know what, you can't really change that at the moment. You can't do that. Some people do, but it's just, it's not what you're gonna like, ha it's not gonna happen to you. So I spent my <clears throat> my spring through like this uh, college, like going to college, um, I spent trying to bulk up. And I have, incre I have increased my mass from like 130 all the way to so far 218 pounds and it does it does make results if you do lift you will make results no matter how much time it takes you will get muscle it takes a longer time for some people but I guarantee you you will have something to show people even if you don't think it you will um, something I do recommend um, is to keep a journal to keep kind of keep like your uh, whole like your goal alive, um, to just kind of write in it every day that you go to the gym, 
Um, something that also kind of started doing is at the YMCA, there's like those little slips, right? Um, that have like motivational like uh, <clears throat> like quotes and stuff on it. I <clears throat> I make sure that I grab one every day and I just kind of slap that in the journal too, and just kind of. Uh, explain my uh, whole like exercise for the day. Um, I just write about my uh, dreams and aspirations for lifting. Um, I just kind of I would also take measurements of like my muscles, right? See how they grow over like the, <clears throat> the journey of uh, my journal because I I totally repurposed one of my old school books that was super huge that I just never wrote in. So you guys could do that. That is a great way to keep yourself motivated. If you keep writing, you keep lifting, you'll, you'll have one of those to just keep kind of, you know, one of the others in check, maybe. Um, and yeah, keep pushing yourself. Um, at more rate, jog instead of walking, one of my coach, <clears throat> one of the most important things my coach said to me when I just started running, I, because I could not like run at all. I would just <clears throat> stop running. I would be tired, I walk instead of like even jogging. And my coach, while everybody was up ahead, he went to the back with me and told me to like, hey, well, jog. He, he decided to jog with me. He told me to jog and to keep going no matter what. Just keep moving your legs like this. No matter what. Don't stop. Just make sure you're going. And that's the most important thing. To keep going and don't stop. No matter how like small it might seem, just keep going because you're eventually going to get somewhere, and I believe that for sure. I believe that absolutely. Um, there is also body dysmorphia. Some of you might experience this, but it's also like pretty prevalent during like uh, bodybuilding and like building muscle um, because there is a lot of people out there that are absolutely more huge than you, and there's just a lot of like feeling like, man, I'm not as huge as I want to be. Man, I don't think I'll ever be like that. Don't tell yourself that. Just instead of that, like, thinking that you're not going to be like them, just take baby steps till you become, <clears throat> like, the best of yourself. Like, you become the biggest you could ever be. Just take baby steps.